I'm Joey. I'm Ashley, and we're the Spanish Day class, and we're making altars for the Day of the Dead. The Mexican holiday, El Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, may sound a little bit like Halloween, but it's not. Death is something to be feared on Halloween in America, but in El Dia de los Muertos, death, or at least the celebration, the memories of those who have passed by, is something to be celebrated. The origin of the holiday dates back to the Aztecs. When Hernan Cortes from Spain conquered the Aztecs in 1519, the two cultures went. Catholicism became the dominant religion of the two, and the customs became intertwined with the Christian commemoration of All Souls Day on November 1st. The altars right here represent many things. When people visit the cemeteries, they clean the graves and decorate the graves with many things, including food, flowers, and also bread. El Dia de los Muertos begins on October 31st at midnight. The first day, November 1st, is used to celebrate and honor the children who have passed. And November 2nd is used to commemorate and honor the adult spirits who have passed. On our altar, this one is celebrating Simon Bolivar. He created and founded Bolivia. We have papel picado, which is tissue paper cut into designs, which is often used on every altar that is used. We have many flowers, which represent bringing the spirits in with the scent of marigolds, which is very prominent. We have pan de muerto, and that is the bread of the dead. We have candle lights to light the way, candies and other things that they liked in their lifetime. And we also have water to purify the spirits and other drinks that they liked as humans. The de los muertos is not something to be afraid of. It's a celebration of those who we once loved.